A Fraction's Goal, Parts of a Whole by Brian P. Cleary. Fractions are a portion. A piece are just a part of something that is larger, like this segment on this chart. Or look at this round pizza. It can be cut in two, or four, or six, or eight, or more. Whatever best suits you. But let's say that it's cut in two and you pick up one slice. If you've got one piece out of two, it's one half to be precise. Next, cut that pizza into four and take one single piece. That's one fourth. Now, can you see how the size has been decreased? So now, if someone wants one half, two slices will be needed. Two fourths and one half are the same. There are different ways to read it. Fractions also work with groups, like two thirds of the players, seven eighths of jugglers, and one half of the mares. Pretend you have three uncles and two came for a visit. That would mean two thirds were there. That's not so hard, now is it? Let's say the third one then showed up to join in all the fun. That's one whole group of uncles, cause three thirds equals one. Fractions come in handy if you ever help with baking. You'll see them in the recipes for breads and cakes you're making. Three fourth tablespoon of salt. Add two third cup of flour. Five eighth cup of chocolate chips and bake for one half hour. The numerator is the word for the number that's on top, like the three that's in we lost three tenths of this year's crop. The number underneath the slash is a denominator. Note that nearly all the time, this bottom number's greater. Fractions can be used in pizzas, planes, and cranes, and plants. You'll know more than just a portion if you give them half a chance. So, what is a fraction? Do you know? The end.